Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Troy, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Geophagus Tapajos and some of the best tank mates for them. I'm going to be walking through the top 10 list that we believe are the best tank mates for the Geophagus Tapajos. I currently have seven of these in my 180 gallon aquarium here. Um, I've had them for about three years, and they're one of my favorite fish in the hobby. Can't wait to talk more about it. Let's dive right in. Okay, so the Geophagus Tapos is one of my favorite all-time fish because of their personality and their color. Um, they're constantly sifting through your substrate, looking for leftover food, and that behavior is really cool to watch. Um, they hang out at the bottom of the aquarium, so sometimes for tank mates, you might be looking for fish that occupy the middle or even the top of your aquarium to give it a little more activity, as the Tapos will usually be at the bottom third. Also with the Geophagus Tapos, they have awesome fins with bright blue and red colors and then as they get older they'll get trailers to these fins not only their tail but also their dorsal fin and due to this you likely want to pick tank mates that are peaceful and aren't going to be nipping at their fins over time i know i kind of break this rule with a couple fish in my 180 gallon aquarium but to each their own and it hasn't been too bad in my current tank another consideration with this list is the region that they come from so a lot of the fish you'll see are South American fish just like the Geophagus Tapajos which comes from Brazil. So with all that being said, let's dive into the top 10 list. Okay starting us off at number 10 is the angelfish. Angelfish are great tank mates because they are also South American cichlids so they share the same water parameters and diets. They also occupy some of the mid and upper levels of the tank which is a great complement to some of the Geophagus that are going to be at the bottom. Angelfish aren't known to be super aggressive, so you don't have to worry too much about them nipping up the fins of the Geophagus. And there are also many different types of angelfish, so you can choose from many different color variations to also complement the Geos. It's a great fish and a really good tank mate for the Geophagus, and it comes in at number 10. Number 9 on the list are other Geophagus species. There are many different Geophagus species that could go really well with the Tapajos. One of my favorites here is the Spinai. I currently have a group in one of my other aquariums, but they could mix really well in a tank together. Another Earth Eater that would be a great tank mate is the Satana Perca Jurupari. It's not technically classified as a Geophagus anymore, but the Jurupari is a very peaceful cichlid that goes really well with Tapajos and they've been tank mates here in my 180 for about three years now. Another tank mate option could be the Geophagus Steindachneri. I have a female here in my 180. The Geophagus Brasiliensis is another one that could potentially work, although both the Steindachneri and the Brasiliensis are known to be on the more aggressive end for Geophagus, so just keep that in mind. If you have a large enough tank, it should work out fine, but just keep that in mind. But I really like when the Tapos are mixed with some Sphinai, or even the Jurupari, they could probably work well with the Wine Milleri and some other variations like that as well. The only reason the Geophagus is number 9 on the list and not higher is just that the Geophagus species will all occupy the bottom and you just need to make sure your tank is long and deep enough to make sure you have room for all the Geophagus near the bottom. Number 8 on the list are Silver Dollars. Silver dollars are great tank mate options for a lot of different South American cichlids because they obviously share the same water parameters, but they provide so much activity to the mid-level of your aquarium. Silver dollars will swim back and forth in your tank, providing a ton of activity. Silver dollars can act as dither fish for some cichlids, and they can also help diffuse aggression by just distracting other cichlids from targeting each other. Instead, you have the fast swimming silver dollars that kind of distract cichlids from targeting each other and can really help with some South American cichlids. Another theme you'll see with the silver dollar and some other fish on this list is just providing some of that activity to the mid and upper level of your aquarium. As mentioned earlier, it provides just such a good complement to the geos that are hanging out towards the bottom. Number seven on the list is pretty similar to the silver dollars in terms of their overall activity and location in the tank. That is the Roseline Shark. These are beautiful schooling fish that love to be in a school of five or more, and they'll swim back and forth in your tank in that mid and upper level, um, and they provide a great complement to the geos, not only in terms of location in the tank, but also the coloration that they provide. They have that pop of yellow, black, silver, and even red, 
which makes them highly sought after and usually they're actually pretty expensive in fish stores around me. The one thing to note is they aren't from South America, they're actually from some river systems in Asia, but they can adapt and share a lot of the same water parameters that geophagus do today. Coming in at number 6 on the list are plecos. There are a ton of different types of plecos that could work with geophagus, from some of your exotic types to some of your common or bushy nose plecos that are out there. There are a ton of different variations that you can choose from to fit your needs in your tank. Typically plecos won't be aggressive towards geotapahos and they make a really good tank mate because of that. The only reason plecos aren't higher on the list is they do tend to hang out at the bottom of the tank similar to the geotapahos. So just keep that in mind so your tank is big enough to occupy both the geos and the plecos in the bottom third of your tank. Coming in at number five are some of your mid to larger size tetras. And there are many different types of tetras that you can choose from. A few that I really like are the Colombian tetras, the Buenos Aires tetras, or even the Bleeding Heart tetras. These types of tetras provide, again, a lot of activity at the top of the tank, and they're typically big enough that the geophagus won't try and pick them off. I would maybe try and stay away from some of the really small tetras like the neon tetras, as those might become a snack for the tapos when they are adults. Coming in at number four on the list is an awesome cichlid, the Festivum. These cichlids are super peaceful and they make for a great complement to the Geophagus Tapajos. This footage here is from one of my friends on Instagram, Martin Fishkeepers. I'll leave a link in the description to his page. I highly suggest you check out his content. He has the Festivum in here with some different schooling fish and they do just fine because this cichlid is very peaceful. Their temperament is very similar to that of the angelfish and they would do well with a lot of Geophagus and more peaceful South American cichlids. I like how they glide around in the water really calmly from the mid and upper levels of your tank and they have that really cool diagonal stripe on their side which makes them stand out in most aquariums. It's a great option if you're looking for a peaceful cichlid to go with your geophagus tapahos. Okay so coming in at number three on the list is the keyhole cichlid. The keyhole is another one of the most peaceful cichlids you will find. They are great tank mates with the geophagus tapahos because they are really peaceful they have really cool coloration with that keyhole dot on their back and the black stripe through their eye, and they share the same water parameters as the South American cichlid. Even when the keyhole is in breeding mode, they are one of the most peaceful cichlids and I've never seen them hurt another fish in the tank, which makes them a great option with the Geophagus Tapahos. Okay, so if you've been watching this channel for any length of time, you probably won't be surprised by number two and even number one on the list because they're some of my favorite cichlids of all time. So going into number two on the list, it is obviously the electric blue acara. So I just love the electric blue acara, and I know I say the same things over and over again, but they provide an awesome pop of blue color in a South American cichlid tank that you normally wouldn't get with any other type of fish. One of my favorite combinations is the geophagus, the electric blue acara, and the severum because you can mix and match colors and they usually work together so well because most of the time they are peaceful and they don't bother each other. And I just love when you can keep cichlids together so the temperament between these are just perfect. And on top of all that, they are South American cichlids so they share the same water parameters as the Tapajos. Just a great fish and I will always keep them whenever I have a tank with Geophagus. And coming in at number one on the list is the Severum. Severins are number one on the list for a few reasons. They are South American cichlids and they share the same water parameters, the same requirements, tank setup. Everything is pretty much the same as the Geophagus. They are relatively peaceful cichlids most of the time. And in my experience, they've been gentle giants. And usually when I've heard of any type of aggression from Severums, it's usually in a tank that's just too small you're definitely gonna have the best luck if your tank is a little bit bigger than recommended tank sizes that you'll find out there. So if you provide a big enough tank, I would just totally recommend Geophagus Tapahos with Severums and Electric Blue Acaras, and you can't really beat that combination. I also love the Severum because there are different color variations, so you can get the red spotted gold Severum for that pop of red and orange. 
You could go with the red shoulder Severum for some blue and red. You could go with the turquoise Severum for that dark navy blue. And then there's even green Severums to give you more of that green coloration in your tank. So there's just endless possibilities of mixing and matching to get a lot of great color in your tank along with just some great behavior and activity among the South American group. I highly recommend the Severum, they are just a great tank mate for the Geo Tapajos. Okay, so that does it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed seeing that top 10 list of tank mates for the Geo Vegas Tapajos. If you'd like to see us do a similar video on any other cichlids, as always, make sure to comment that down below. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next week.